that time of the year again, folks. Oscar season. I figured it would be only fitting if I gave my picks and predictions for tomorrow night's ceremony. Let me know before I start down below in the comments. Who do you guys think? Who do you think is going to win? Who do you want to win? I want to hear all that down below in the comments section. I'd be really eager to see what you guys' picks and predictions are. Going into this year, we did not think that there would be that, or I personally did not think there would be that much to even be uh, in the running for best picture, best actor, best actor, all this stuff. Back, you, you asked me a year ago, I would have been like, there's going to be stuff to nominate this year? No, 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 no way. I, I just thought that because of the pandemic, but this year we have some incredible performances, some incredible movies. I'm just so... It's it's crazy that we have we've been blessed with such great movies, so I am very excited to talk about it. Let's get started. The first per, the first category production design. Now, the nominees are The Father, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, Mank, News of the World, and Tenet. Now I've seen each of these movies. My personal favorite and my pick would be The Father. I think that movie is incredible, and I really think that the production design is is incredible. The what you can what you what they did in the small space was incredible. And my prediction is Mank. Now, Mank is kind of that Oscar Beatty movie. Not that I'm saying it's a bad movie. I think that it's very well done by Jack and David Fincher, but I just think that. The I think the I think that Mank's gonna win, and I would obviously like the Father to win, but I do think Mank will win. Next category, short film animated. The nominees are Burrow, Genius, Loki, If Anything Happens, I Love You, Opera, and Yes People. The only thing that I've seen in this category is If Anything Happens, I Love You. That that short film was wow. I was seriously at a loss for words. I couldn't really comprehend my thoughts after watching it. And that's my pick for to win. And I do th my, and that's my prediction. If anything happens, I love you. I think that it will win. And it is my personal pick. Next category is short film live action. The nominees are Feeling Through, The Letter Room, The Present, Two Distant Strangers, and White Eye. Now, Two Distant Strangers, I thought was absolutely nothing short of incredible i loved two distant two distant strangers it's a weird movie or short film to say that you loved but i thought it was so powerful for the 30 minute runtime they were able to do a lot and i think it's just so deserving of the award that's my pick and that's my prediction for two distant strangers next category sound also known as the sound of metal category this is an easy win. The nominees are Greyhound, Mank, News of the World, Soul, and Sound of Metal. Sound of Metal, incredible sound design. I like how they merged the sound design and sound editing categories together. I thought that was out, that was good for this year. And it's literally in the title, Sound of Metal, so you got to give it the award. It's just so, so good. So good, so good, so good. Visual Effects. The nominees are Love and Monsters, The Midnight Sky, Mulan, The One and Only Ivan, and Tenet. Now, Love and Monsters, I saw a little while ago. I thought that, that movie was really heartwarming, heartwarming and a fun adventure. That is my pick to win. I just really, it, I, the visual effects in that movie were surprisingly very good. For a small budget, they were able to do a lot. So that's my that's my personal pick love for Love and Monsters, but I do think Tenet will win. That Tenet was not my favorite movie of the year. I know it was a lot of people's favorite. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. Uh, I think it's what the 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 visual effects are outstanding. So I you I mean you got to give it to Tenet. Unfortunately, it doesn't really compare to Love and Monsters. The next category for writing adaptive adapted screenplay nominees are. Borat's subsequent movie film, The Father, Nomadland, One Night in My One Night in Miami, and The White Tiger. Now I would pick One Night in Miami to win. I think that movie did get under recognized 
at the academy from the academy this year. I don't think it got enough awards that it should have. Uh, my pick, uh, my pick is the one out of Miami. My prediction is Nomadland. I think I that movie was written by Chloe Zhao incredibly. Uh, it's obviously um, just such a good movie, and we'll talk about it a little bit later as well. For writing original screenplay, the nominees are Judas and the Black Messiah, Minari, Promising Young Woman, Sound of Metal, and The Trial of the Chicago 7. Now, a couple months ago, if you asked me who I, who I think would win this category, I would give it to it. I would, I, my, my prediction would be for Aaron Sorkin. He's is an incredible uh, screenwriter, and I think that it's while The Trial of Chicago 7 isn't his best movie and not my favorite, of his uh, movies, I do think that it's a good movie. So I would have given it to The Trial of Chicago 7 a couple months ago, but no. After seeing Promising Young Woman, I oh, I love Promising Young Woman. It's my favorite movie of 2020, and I think it's very deserving of this award. So for writing original screenplay, my pick is, pro my pick is Promising Young Woman, and my prediction is Promising Young Woman. For directing, the nominees are Another Round, Mink, Minari, Nomadland, and Promise Young Woman. Now, I don't think that this is like a, a toss-up. I don't think, I think it's a, we have a clear winner here. I think that's Chloe Zhao from Nomadland. I, th that movie is, it's, it's special. It's a special movie, and I think that she directed it masterfully. And I think she's very deserving of the award. I, m my pick me would have been for Emerald, Emerald Fennell for Promising Young Woman, but at the end of the day, I think that what Chloe Zhao did with Nomadland was excellent, so that's my pick and my prediction for Nomadland. Now, documentary feature. Nominees are Collective, Crip Camp, The Mole Agent, My Octopus Teacher, and Time. I have not seen any of these nominees, so I, I my, my prediction will be My Octopus Teacher. I, I honestly thought that time would have a good shot, uh, but honestly, now looking at it, I think that My Octopus Teacher has the best shot of winning. It's a, I've seen a little bit of it. It's very interesting. So that's my, that's my prediction. For documentary short subject, the nominees are Colette, A Concerto is a Conservation, Do Not Split, Hunger Ward, and A Love Song for Latasha. Again, I have not seen any of these nominees. I do think Colette will win. That seems like the front runner in this category, so I'm going to have to give it to Colette. But all these, I think, sound excellent. And let me know down below if I should check any of them out. I'm um, very interested to see. The nominees for film editing are The Father, Nomadland, Promise a Young Woman, Sound of Metal, and The Trial of the Chicago 7. Now, my pick would be for the father that movie relies on the editing in my opinion and not only the editing but anthony hopkins who we will also talk about a little bit later but the editing in the father is incredible so so good and how they how they edited it together was amazing um but my prediction is sound of metal i think it's just kind of like the safe let's give it to sound of metal kind of thing and i i i love the sound of i love sound of metal you know but my personal pick would be The Father, but I do think Sound of Metal will win. For International Feature Film, the nominees are Another Round, Better Days Collective, The Man Who Sold His Skin, and I don't want to butcher this, but the film from Bosnia and Herzegovina. I think that all of these movies, I've only seen Another Round, so and that's my personal favorite. I heard that the film from Bosnia is... I'm hearing a lot of good things about that, so let me know if I should check out that one. But my pick and prediction is going to go to another round. That movie is awesome. I really enjoyed it. For makeup and hairstyling, the nominees are Emma, Hillbilly Elegy, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, Mank, and Pinocchio. I have only seen Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, Hillbilly Elegy, and Mank. Uh, I saw bits and pieces of Pinocchio. That movie looked, from, from the makeup and hair sign, that movie looked very, very interesting. It's what, what, what you can do is so cool. So th 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 this is an interesting category. My pick and prediction is going to go to Ma, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. 
I think that Iola Davis uh, got some nice makeup done by these artists. So I think that it's uh, my pick and prediction is Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. For music original score, the nominees are The Five Bloods, Mank, Minari, News of the World, and Soul. Now, The Five Bloods unfortunately only had one nomination in it throughout the whole um, Academy Awards ceremony this year. So it's very, it's sad, you know. I really, I really like that movie. So, I my pick and prediction is gonna go to Soul. I think that that movie is one of Pixar's best. I think it's very deserving of the award. So I'm going to give it to Soul. That's my pick and prediction. Now we're getting up to the big stuff, ladies and gentlemen. The actor in a leading role category. The nominees are Riz Ahmed, Chadwick Boseman, Anthony Hopkins, Gary Oldman, and Steven Yeun. I have seen each of these movies. I would have personally put Delroy Lindo instead of Gary Oldman. Sorry, Gary Oldman, but Delroy Lindo got snubbed at the Oscar. For this category, my pick is Anthony Hopkins. He is outstanding. Nothing short of incredible. But the close run-up for, for my pick would be Chadwick Boseman. I, and that's my prediction, Chadwick Boseman. Uh, gone too soon, RIP Chadwick. He gives an excellent, excellent performance in Marini's Black Bottom. I just personally would pick Anthony Hopkins. I think that's his career best performance. And that's topping Silence of the Lambs. It's just crazy. I do think Chadwick will win. I think that the Academy um, will give him the award. I think he's very deserving. Also, don't count out Riz Ahmed. He was almost my pick. I really love his performance in Sound of Metal. But I do think Chadwick gets the award. The actor in, the, in a supporting role category. The nominees are Sasha Baron Cohen, Daniel Kaluuya, Leslie Odom Jr., Paul Racy, and Lakeith Stanfield. I did not think that Paul Racy was going to get nominated this year. He is so deserving of the award. If Daniel Kaluuya wasn't, if Judas and Black Messiah, if it wasn't nominated, I think that Paul Racy would have had almost the best shot at winning next to maybe Sasha Baron Cohen or Leslie Odom Jr. My pick is Paul Racy. What he did in The Sound of Metal giving an outstanding performance from a guy that I've never seen before except for an episode of Parks and Rec. This guy was basically an unknown name. And he gave probably in the top 10 my favorite performances of last year. So he's incredibly deserving of the nomination. I do think Daniel Kaluuya is deserving of the award. He is... I, I don't... I wouldn't say he tops Paul Racy, just from my, uh, from my... in my opinion... But I think that Daniel Kaluuya is also incredible in Judas and the Black Messiah. So he is my prediction. For actress in a leading role, the, category, the nominees are Viola Davis, Andre Day, Vanessa Kirby, Frances McDormand, and Carey Mulligan. My, I re my favorite performance in this category was from Carey Mulligan and Promise Young Woman. Promising Young Woman was my favorite movie of last year. So, it's... I really wish that she would win. I unfortunately don't think she's going to win. I do think that Viola Davis does have it in the bag. She's kind of been sneaking up recently. Honestly, I think that everyone has a shot of winning the award, except for maybe Vanessa Kirby. I think she has the, less, uh, the least amount of chances of winning. I think that Vanessa Kirby might be the best, in my opinion, out of all of these actresses. The performance she gives in Pieces of Woman is, oh my, it's heartbreaking. And, but I do think Viola will win. But Carrie Mulligan, I really do hope she wins. I would be so, so happy if she wins. But I think Viola Davis will win the award. The actress in a supporting role nominees are Maria Bakalova, Glenn Close, Olivia Coleman. Amanda Seyfried, and Yu Jung Yoon. Honestly, I think that Maria Bakalova's performance is a bit overrated. Don't don't kill me for saying that. I just don't. I didn't. I don't think it's necessarily deserving of an Academy Award nomination. I mean, congrats to her. I think that she has a really bright future. I just wouldn't have nominated her, in my opinion. But uh, this is a really another strong, really strong category. 
and honestly, I think that Yu Jung Yoon will win. She is my pick and prediction. She's so she's so funny. She's she's such a heartwarming presence in Minari. I love I love her performance. So she is my personal pick and my prediction. But if Amanda Seyfried came up and take took the bag or Olivia Coleman, Glenn Close, I would not be disappointed. I think that everyone gives a really good performance, but the standout for me was Yu Jung Yoon in Minari. I think she's incredibly deserving of the award. For animated feature film, the nominees are Onward, Over the Moon, A Shaun the Sheep movie, Farmageddon, Soul, and Wolf Walkers. Ah, uh, it's kind of unfortunate. I when when Pixar has a has a movie coming out, you kind of just have to give them the award, unfortunately. Except for when Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse won. That was awesome. I was so happy when that won. But Soul, I do think, beats out um, Wolf Walkers. I actually loved Over the Moon. If that if that won, well, I don't think it's going to. But if that won, I would be so happy. But Soul tackles some incredibly deep topics. And uh, it's a Pixar movie, so it's a, it's kind of top uh, addressing some really tough top uh, topics. But it's my it's my pick and it's my prediction. Wolf Walker is incredible. Like I said, it's one of Pixar's best. For cinematography, the nominees are Judas and the Black Messiah, Mank, News of the World, Nomad Land, and The Trial of the Chicago Seven. For cinematography, I think this award, my pick and prediction goes to Nomad Land. He the Joshua James Richards uh, shot some beautiful shots, and he actually. He's he's my pick and prediction for this for this category. I think that Judas and the Black Messiah has some, some really nice cinematography. News of the World also has some really nice cinematography. Uh, and Trial of the Chicago Seven, it's fine. Mank as well, it's fine. But my pick and prediction is no for Nomadland. For costume design, the nominees are Emma, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, Mank, Mulan, and Pinocchio. Now, who I think will win is Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. I, and that's also my pick. I haven't seen Emma, and I haven't seen the full uh, Pinocchio. I've seen bits and pieces of Pinocchio. But I think my pick and prediction is going to go to Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Some really nice costume design in that film. The last category, right before Best Picture. For Music Original Song, the nominees are Fight For You from Judas and the Black Messiah, Hear My Voice from The Trial of Chicago 7, Husevik from Eurovision Song Contest, The Story of Fire Saga, EOC Scene from The Life Ahead, and Speak Now from One Night in Miami. Now, my pick would go to Husevik. I really, I actually really surprisingly liked that movie. I thought it was pretty, fun. it was a fun movie. It came out early pandemic and it was a good surprise. But, uh, and that's my pick for Husevik. But I do think Speak Now will win it's an incredible song and leslie odom jr performed it phenomenally but all these songs are really sold and let's get on to the biggest category of them all best picture the nominees are the father judas and the black messiah mank minari nomadland promising young woman sound of metal and the trial of the chicago seven now, it's kind of been known for a while that Nomadland will most likely take the bag. I think it's very deserving. Honestly, all of these movies, in some way, shape, or form, are deserving of the award. I think that they're all incredible. The Trials of Chicago 7 might have a shot, but I do think that Nomadland does take the award. My, pre my pick, though, would be for Promising Young Woman. It was my favorite movie of last year, like I said. And I would love to see that movie win. It's kind of the underdog. But again, any of these movies, if they, if any of these movies won, I'd be so happy. And th and this is a and this was a really strong year for film. I think all these films are really good to outstanding. Not, honestly, I haven't, like I said, I haven't seen every single film nominated. But honestly, this was a really strong year, and it was a surprising year. So thank you guys so much again for watching, sticking around to the end of the video. This is a really, I, I love the Oscars and I love talking the Oscars. I cannot wait for next year. And next year I do think I'll do a Golden Globe, picks and predictions, and the Oscars yet again. So thank you guys.
for coming to the first annual Picks and Predictions with Meteor's Reviews. If you guys did enjoy the video, do give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys again so much for watching. My name is Ben. People call me Meter. Keep a lookout for new videos coming soon. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.